Hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, the first in uh, the next uh, series of Transport Fever 2 that I'm doing. Uh, the previous map, uh, it's basically got to the point where it's going to be boring. So uh, I'm going to leave it be for a bit and maybe I'll come back to it and do some industry connections and so on. Uh, that will be a bit, a bit challenging and maybe I'll do that. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to move on to a different map. And what I want to do is I want to play some, play a map where, uh, where I can't just plumb everything together with roads and rail. Uh, so I'm going to uh, run on a tropical map. Uh, yeah, uh, every YouTuber uh, that did... Uh, Transport Fever 2 leading up to the release was playing on a tropical map, so yeah, whatever. But I'm going to do that here. Uh, now, uh, if you want to uh, create the same map, I'm going to I'm dropping back to a normal map size, a very large map instead of Megalomaniac. Uh, I'm going square still, uh, and it's going to be a medium number of towns and a medium number of industries. Now. If you want to play the same map, I've cranked up the hilliness, mainland is in the middle. Uh, I'm pretty sure that means minimal, minimum forests, maximum islands, and the key, if you can't, or the uh, seed, if you can't read it, is prognostications. So, that's the map. Uh, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of water around the sides here, so I should be able to get a... Uh, a decent uh, shipping uh, arrangement going. So we'll move on here. Now, uh, I'm still uh, debating if I'm going to start in 1850. I think I might actually. I just want to see how uh, how this plays in the early game. So I'm going to start in 1850. Uh, I'm going to play on medium uh, difficulty as usual. Now, I'm going to go in here and uh, just see what I've got uh, enabled here. Achievements with mods, uh, no random rocks in... Uh, yeah, okay, that'll reduce the number of objects and smoke reduction. And that's all I'm going with here. So I'm, I'm basically, basically playing unmodded. Uh, except with less smoke and uh, there should be uh, random rocks uh, should be uh, minimized and that should help with the game lag and so on. So we have a tropical climate, tropical environment, I still don't know what the difference between those two are. Uh, we're gonna go all vehicles and uh, we're gonna use English town names or maybe I'll use American town names. Yeah, let's use American town names this time. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's the setup here. Uh, so I'll save that, uh, and now let's get the game started. Now this should take less time to build the map and everything than it took on the previous one, the Megalomania series. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this series actually. We'll know what it's called because I'll have named it in you know when I got to editing. Uh, but uh, I don't know yet as I'm recording this what I'm going to call it. I think it'll depend on uh, what the map actually looks like. Uh, anyway, uh, you know we we gotta you know let the map generate before we know anything that's going on here. Uh, now I'm going to try and keep the uh, episodes of this uh, series down around the half hour mark. I'm going to fail, no doubt, but I want to keep the uh, keep it down to one or two projects per episode so that it's uh, a little easier to keep track of what's going on. Uh, now, I'm debating whether I'm going to play this on uh, quarter time like the previous one, or if I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play it on... Uh, half speed or or uh, yeah uh, 
I'm going to pause t pause everything right off the start. Uh, here we go. Paused. Now, does this even look... Uh, yeah, okay. Wow, this is a nice hilly map. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Okay, so we got some uh, interesting opportunities here. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the mainland here uh, looks like it could be a little bit of a challenge to connect everything up. Uh, looks like a, a circular main line on the uh, mainland would be uh, smart on, from a passenger perspective. Um, right. So uh, we've got some industries over here. We've got a lone town and some industries over here. Industries on islands another lone town and some industries on an island and another one um yeah so this should uh this should uh, work out uh, quite nicely as a little bit more of a challenge and we've got a couple spots where it looks like it's uh, definitely possible to dig a canal so yeah uh, this uh, this looks like a uh, looks like it should be an interesting map to uh, to uh, have a go at. Now, uh, what I need to figure out is how I'm going to start out the uh, game. Now, obviously, I need to make some money. Um, now, ideally, a uh, oil uh, a chain would be uh, would be the way to go. Okay, so Denton takes uh, fuel. We have a fuel refinery here, uh, and we have uh, crude oil here and an oil refinery here. So we could take crude up here uh, to the oil refinery, and then down to the. Uh, fuel refinery and then across to Denton. Now that looks like it would be a little bit too challenging for this early on. So I don't think that's going to work. Uh, right, so let's take a look uh, for maybe another option for that. Well, we've got oil to an oil refinery here uh okay we have uh, uh wood sawmill tools to reno that could work so we'll have wood coming this way uh, to the sawmill and then the okay so and this takes two yeah uh, and then this could come over here and then over to here yeah okay that could work um, yeah that I don't think that'll work okay so do we have a full fuel chain here not really no okay uh well uh let's see so uh we have no Okay, so we could do con mats over here. So we have a construction materials and a demand in Tempe. Ah, yes, and we have a quarry here. So 
we could uh, do uh, uh, stone, and this is a one to one. So we do stone to the conmap plant to Tempe, and the distance is uh, is small here. So that's what I'm going to do just to get things started. Uh, and this I'm going to do by road. So uh, I'm going to, so I want to run this around on this direction. So uh, I'm going to need a truck station and I only need a stop on one side and it needs to be that way around. Okay, and we've got we've got tendril action there. Okay, and I'm gonna need one over here. Uh, okay, uh, we'll put it here. Okay, and we're gonna need to. Whoops, I didn't mean to close that. Uh, where are the con mats wanted? Uh, up here. Okay. Uh, all around up here. Right. Okay. So, uh, I'll uh, run this in here. If I do this, that wants three buildings, that wants two. I should be able to get it down to one if I put it in the right place. No, that's four. That's one. That's 450. That's three. Two. That's cheaper. Okay. Well, okay. Sold. Okay, now. I want another exit here, uh, right, and obviously I need to connect that up to the street network, like so, and uh, no, no, I'll come straight across here. Because that will get me more catchment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, commercial. Yeah. Okay. Now, over here, uh, I'll add an exit. Now, I need to uh, run a road out this way. And it needs to come up to here. Yep. Good. And I need to also, uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing drive through stops here, uh, based on my experimentation, uh, it turns out that by making the stops drive through, you can substantially increase the throughput uh, because the vehicles don't have to spend time uh, futzing around, turning around. And that makes all the difference, really. Okay, this is in the way, so we'll get rid of it. Now, uh, okay, so this comes around here, right? And we'll need to connect this over here. This gives us a full loop. Now, I think I'm going to need a waypoint there, but uh, the first thing I'm going to need is a uh, who's a what's it here. Now, if I put the who's a what's it over here by the quarry. Yep. Now, uh, I need a new line, which is going to go here here, here, 
Yeah, I'm going to need a waypoint up there. Okay. Uh, streets, waypoints. Uh, we'll put the waypoint here. Uh, right. And get the line back. And we'll add the waypoint. And that gets us uh, no loopy stuff going on in the station. Okay. And we're going to need one over by Tempe West as well. Okay. Uh, so we'll add a waypoint here. And get the line back. Yep. We got the line back. Tempe West, add station, go there. Okay, now by doing that, the line doesn't cross itself, and uh, that means we have less traffic congestion. Okay, so this is going to be the, uh, this is going to be a uh, cargo multi hop at Tempe, and it's going to be. Uh, stone, it's going to be, it's going to be the conmat chain. Okay, uh, that's just so I can figure out what it is later. Now, what we need to do is buy a bunch of vehicles. Uh, we want cargo. Now, which one, a horse-drawn carriage is 4 at 18, uh, 4 at 18, and four at 18. It's a complete wash. Okay, let's go with the American one. Now, uh, what does uh, Tempe want? They want 61. Uh, so, eh, let's put 20, no, 30 of these things on here. Uh, we're going to need quite a few. Uh, just because they'll be spending so much time traveling. Uh, right. Now, now, the question that comes up now is how fast do I want to run the clock? If I run it at quarter speed, then we won't even get to, uh, to 1900. If I run it at half speed, we should get up into the 1900s. And if I run it at normal speed, uh, I'm half thinking we won't get to the get the point to the point of uh, uh, actually uh, enjoying the steam age. So, uh, but we'll get to airports uh, sooner. Uh, so I'm gonna. So we're at one 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 times. Uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to drop it to half speed, uh, and let's, uh, start the uh, clock running now. Uh, right. I need to launch these all onto a line. Go. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we could we could ride this, but I don't see the point. Uh, what we need to do is get some more uh, more stuff online that uh, actually can earn some cash. So let's take a look. We've got a food. We got a farm set up here. Uh, do, do we have a food processing plant anywhere? Oh, we do up here. Uh, what is that? Laredo? Yeah, Laredo takes food and uh, fuel. Uh, we don't have a fuel refinery nearby. No. Okay. We do have a food processing plant and a farm. A couple of farms. I don't think that's going to quite work. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's go take a look up here. 
Uh, right. Okay, so we've got wood. But we don't have a sawmill up here. Right. Okay, so cargo's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, so what do we have here? Okay, well, we've got a fuel uh, refinery here. Ah, okay, we can do a uh, tools uh, chain here. Uh, is we've got the uh, wood, uh, the sawmill, and the uh, tools factory, and the tools demand. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm going to uh, plumb this in. So, I want to go this way, this way, and then back this way, and then into the town. Okay. Uh, right. So, buildings, truck stop. I want a... Uh, truck stop here uh, okay that's got tendril action so we'll uh, pick that and then we'll uh, pick this uh, right so here, and then way over here, uh, I'll pick this uh, like so, and then down in the town, okay, the tools are all over here, okay. Well, if I drop it here, yeah, here, yeah, okay, so streets, we'll connect this up to the street network, uh, we need to add an exit here, uh, right, and then the you know what? I'll just take a country road straight out this way into here. Um, okay, yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Then we need a country road. Oh, what? Wait here. I need to add an exit on this one. And I need to add an exit on this one, right? Uh, and if I bring a road down that way and a road out here, right? And then I can just bring this road across to here and we need another exit point here and bring the road out here and I think realistically we need to bring this road up here and clean up some of this don't need that anymore uh, and we don't need this Okay, I think that gets everything set up uh, reasonably well. Uh, I will straighten this out, right? No, 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 no. What I want to do, no! I want to come out this way, like so.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that will do there. Uh, I'm going to take this out. Yeah. Okay. Well, that should get a tools chain operational. So I will add a uh, who's a what's it over here. Uh, which will be here. Yep. Okay. And I need a new line, which will go here, 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 and then here. Ah, oh, what do you know? It's taking the right path. Okay. This is going to be a uh, cargo multi hop and it's going to be lower killeen and this is going to be tools chain right uh good now i'm going to buy some uh, vehicles and i think we're going to need about the same number on here so i'll buy 30 of them and i will add them to that line now, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do uh, this time around. I'm hoping that these two lines are enough to get some uh, cash going. Uh, okay, so if I up-tempo on here, let's, uh, let's just take a ride on... Uh, on the uh, the wagon here so we've got uh, we've got wood uh, collecting there uh, it's going to space the vehicles out here and I expect I will be adding vehicles to the uh, to the line uh, for the next uh, little bit uh, anyway uh, yeah, so the landscape here, I, I'm, I'm riding along here because, you know, I, I haven't actually played a tropical map before, and I kind of uh, want to see what the uh, the landscape looks like. And I'm getting the impression maybe I should turn up my graphics settings. Uh, I had them turned down a little bit because I was playing on a megalomaniac map before, and uh, without the uh, random rocks all over the place... Uh, the uh, all of the extra objects all over the map shouldn't uh, have as much of a uh, as much of a, an impact, uh, and it might actually get rid of some of the uh, 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 texture stitching uh, points like we saw on the uh, hill there. Pretty sure that was a texture stitch, anyway. Um, right, so this actually isn't looking too bad. Um, yeah, yeah, probably going to need a lot more vehicles on this line just because of the distance it has to travel. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly how many yet, which is why I'm starting with 30. Uh, later on... This will likely be replaced with rail, uh, but maybe not. Maybe it'll continue as a truck line. Uh, as better trucks come along, I'll be able to run it more effectively uh, as a truck line. So maybe I'll keep it that way. So it's, it's coming up on the tools factory here. We've got two uh, lumber on board. Uh, so we... I picked one several back because then we uh, we see the uh, uh, the the actual uh, uh, well, I guess uh, cargo quantities that it's picking up. But as you can see here with the uh, drive-through station, uh, we don't have as much uh, slowdown from the vehicles entering and exiting. And there we go, we picked up two tools. So we'll come along here. Yeah, so the uh, 
Even the uh, flattish area here has some hills in it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, right, so yeah, this uh, this should work uh, fairly well, I think. Is that a mountain that's getting all the way up to the clouds? No, that's just the uh, the ambient occlusion or whatever it is that's making it look that way. Wild. So these uh, the skybox is actually kind of nice here. Uh, right. So we're coming up in the town here. Uh, right. And I see we're going to have uh, traffic problems here, so I'll probably want to set up local transportation here. Uh, anyway. Uh, right. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, observe here. Uh, we're picking up 3,200 there. Uh, so the vehicle itself is profitable. How's the line doing? Uh, the line is profitable. Yeah, we're, we're turning a, a proper profit here. Uh, now, I'll just take a check in here. Uh, the CONMATS line is also turning a proper profit. Uh, so let's just take a look in here. Uh, so uh, we're on our third... Um, half year here and uh, we had 146 K income in our previous uh, half year uh, so yeah uh, this uh, looks like it's going to work uh, going to work out pretty well uh, so let's drop this drop down the tempo here so we've got uh, so, you know a level of income uh, established uh, I'll be able to spend a little bit of, uh, of time, uh, you know, adding some uh, vehicles to these lines uh, to maximize throughput. Uh, but, uh, uh, and, you know, this here uh, does show that it needs more. Uh, and where was the other line? Down here. Yeah, we need a few more here as well. Uh, so just before I go... I'm going to, uh, no, I'm going to look here, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, I'm going to duplicate that up to 40, uh, and then uh, vehicles, and I'm going to duplicate this one up to uh, 40 as well, which means borrowing, uh, right? Uh, duplicate, duplicate, right. Uh, so adding a few extra vehicles there because it's pretty clear both lines can handle them and that'll just increase our actual uh, income. Uh, okay, so that's uh, going to be all for the first part here. Uh, that's uh, just basically setting up the initial earn some cash lines uh, so that I can uh, investigate uh, some other options uh, uh, for more complex uh, supply chains and so on. So in this uh, particular uh, uh, playthrough, I want to actually get some uh, ship action going. Uh, and I want to get some, some uh, train lines up uh, fairly early here as well. Uh, so, uh, once I get some of that going, then, uh, then we'll have some real cash coming in. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, I'll see everybody back uh, uh, next time, uh, probably uh, Monday, uh, if the schedule holds. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's all for this time. See you next time.